Now then, this is a very, another very spontaneous, I don't want to learn more. Oh, go away. A very spontaneous um, video. <laughs> That's the word I was looking for. Um, because I just got some lovely stuff and I just thought it's so beautifully presented. I couldn't, be it's getting to that point now where I can't bear to open things if they look lovely without sharing it. Um, so, of course, nobody's going to be watching this, really, because I haven't said I'm going to do it. I haven't um, uh, put this on the, the community or anything. One of the things is that I'm not going to be um, doing a live stream tonight. So it's Thursday the 19th, I believe, is it? Yeah, Thursday the 19th. Not going to be doing a live stream because uh, I am hosting a big awards show tonight. So that's that. Um, but I got this pack. Oh, and the other thing is, keep forgetting this isn't just live is it it's going to be up afterwards if i don't say anything really controversial and awful that's going to ruin my career <laughs> um but uh i want you to go and look at onlinemagic.co that's what i've got to say i've got to say it every time go and look at onlinemagic.co after this uh put loads of new stuff on there just uploaded a load of stuff uh new chapter for my Royal Road to Card Magic course, which has got so many videos on it now. That's just one of many courses you get, so check that out. But anyway, uh, and like and subscribe if you like this. Uh, let's see if we've got any comments. Have I got any comments? Where are my comments? Really weird. Usually they just come straight up. If I scroll up, I don't know. But comment if, you, if you're there. I know there's one person. I don't know. I don't know where they are. Maybe they'll just pop up. But anyway, so this is what I got. I got from Steve Myers. So I've ordered some uh, a couple of things from Steve Myers. I got, and this is the importance of I think sharing things that we like. Because I didn't know about these. These I knew, I'd heard of Steve Myers, and I knew he was a crafts person. And Jen Myers, and I'd seen them on um, on Magic Page. And I think it was on the All Things Magic Facebook group where someone mentioned the Bellini eggs, and I just thought, well. You know, I always, I do the egg bag, I haven't done it for a long time, and blowing eggs and stuff is fine, but it's, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to things like that. So, the same with the fab fruit. I, I used to, for years, the my clam are fab fruit for cups and balls when I'm doing the small cups, because the close-up gigs, I didn't want it to be another thing that I kind of had to think about. Now, sometimes I still use, you know, proper fruit. I do use when I do it on stage, but when I'm doing it regularly all the time, and I thought, great, eggs, you know. So, I bought the eggs, I haven't opened them yet. So I thought I'd open them on here. So I presume they get a lot. Everybody raves about them. So what I've got here is some eggs and some um, Malini cigars. And, and they've, they've sent me a, an ice cream thing, which is, is uh, a... Oh, what's it based on? I didn't know what it was, but Whit Hayden, Pop Hayden routine with the ice cream, which I don't know yet, but I've got the, the ice cream, but I'll show you that in a minute. So thanks for the order of the Malini eggs. Um, if you have time, I haven't done this yet, but I want to share this. If you have time, please check out the testimony section of the website. Watch Scott Alexander showcase Steve Myers magic goods. It's a who. So you know, again, if you're like me and you didn't know a lot about this stuff, I think it's nice for me to to share it. All the every, everything we carry is handmade by Steve, uh, one at a time using old school methods. And there is a video of him on the site. Hey Leonard, how you doing? Oh, the co comments are popping up. Um, and I like, I like the fact that people are still spending the time to make this stuff really well. And, you know, there are a lot of companies out there sort of churning stuff out on the cheap. By the way, I'm sorry about the terrible lighting here. I haven't got any lighting. It's, it's all natural lighting, but, you know, I have to put up with it. Uh, I'll go back a bit. So, uh, you know, and this takes a lot of time. So I think it's good to share this stuff. So let's have a look at the eggs first. So we've got the, and, and this, this is such a beautifully... You get a little box with a little thank you on it. So little things, a little pen in there, look. A little pen with the four of hearts on it. So we'll have a look at the eggs. Uh, this isn't a full review. This is just me sharing. Again, maybe, maybe because I am um, mainly, or sorry, because I can't do a... a um, wow, they're great. Uh, live stream tonight. So these are brilliant. So there's the brown one. I've got a brown linear and a white one. Now, when you, if you ever perform the egg bag, I got a brown, because in, in the UK, all the eggs are, are brown pretty much, unless you buy special ones. But the um, problem is with that, someone told me that when I performed the egg bag, I did it in front of quite a large audience. I, they couldn't see it very well. They couldn't see the brown egg very well. Now, of course, in really, really good lighting, it wouldn't be a problem, but it was a decent theatre. It was 
down at the City Hall here in Sheffield a few years ago, and people said they struggled. And part of that might have been my presentation, but I thought, actually, it makes sense to get a white one. So I got one of each. So these are, they're just, br I mean, you wouldn't know that that wasn't a, just holding it. It wasn't a real egg other than the weight of it. But they've still got enough weight, clearly, to do the egg bag. I've got an egg bag here. Um, let's see what size we are. And um, it's like this is only on my phone, so this is a, a low production thing. So I love the egg bag, but I don't perform it. No, I well, I haven't performed it much, and, and I, I showed it to someone recently. Um, and it they just and they'd seen quite a lot of magic, and they they really really liked it, they found it really magical. So I think. And they pull it the right way there. Obviously, they'd be doing this bit. And then you uh, you throw. And the egg comes out. It is magical, isn't it? You forget it's an egg in a bag. And because, you know, the, I always remember reading the thing about in vaudeville, there would be signs on the wall saying no egg bags, because you know, in the 30s, because everybody did it. Probably a bit like the cups and balls now, which I do. Or the straitjacket, which I used to do. Um, you know, the time when in Covent Garden, every other person was doing a straitjacket escape. But they, they're just, these are brilliant. My first look on these are just, they just work so well with a bag. Um, and it's important. Sometimes when you blow an egg, it's really light and you're worried about it breaking. I have broke many, many eggs before. And you got, they sort of start smelling and stuff like that. So... So they're great. So there's the Malini egg bag. I really recommend, and re all really good prices as well. I can't remember how much they were. Um, I did buy these. These haven't been sent me for review. Um, but again, they're just, I'm really pleased with them. I think they're, they're brilliant. So if you do an egg bag, Steve Meyer's egg, uh, eggs are just great. I couldn't be more happy. And I didn't know. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at them. I haven't seen anybody else's. Uh, now, what I also have here is the Leipzig cigars. Now, I remember reading in the John Carney book, it was it Secrets or Carney Kelpie? I think it was Secrets, did the, a, a routine with the cigars. And um, Chris Kenner did a great thing with a cigar as part of his masterclass, Revanishing. Now, a lot of people, which are basically, you know, you can't do cigarette magic anymore. Cigar magic's a bit different, isn't it? Because it, but I, I actually disagree. People still have cigarettes. Now, of course, I wouldn't do a kid's party and get a fang out and start doing... And by the way, that's uh, in, the, in the UK, that's cigarette. Uh, get a cigarette out and start doing it. But I think that you can borrow a cigarette. I still, all the time in a sort of casual situation, if someone's got a cigarette, I borrow it, do some vanishes. I think it's really relevant. And uh, like I said, I'm mainly a hobbyist now. But I would easily do something like that with a cigar on stage. It wouldn't bother me at all. I'm a magician in a role as a magician and uh and these are just i can just see <laughs> it's just great i don't know why i'm laughing they're just i think it's because they're so good they look brilliant um so i've got one here which is they've, they've come with spare the, the band that goes around them this is the the one with the the ash on it and i just i'm so pleased with these because i really want to do a routine um Oh, that's really kind, David. Thank you very much. I'll have a look at the things in a minute, but I can't seem to get the comments up, but I will in a minute. I'll have a look at them. So look at, I just, and these, I mean, these handle so nicely. I, I've never tried any of this stuff, so bear with me, but I, I'm just playing with it. I'm really, look at that. <laughs> just, I just love it. I don't know what to do. Um, but anyway, so, yeah, so, and then there's a, um, an unlit one too. And I think there's a certain, not because it's smoking, but I think that these routines using this sort of, it always capture me. I'm a huge fan of vaudeville. I mean, when I became a juggler, I just was really beguiled by people like Bobby May. If you don't know who Bobby May is, he's 1930s, I think, juggler, 20s and 30s. I love that style, that kind of, that kind of vaudeville style of magic and everything. There's a kind of cleanliness to it. So the sort of Cardini kind of thing. Um, and I think it's terribly romantic and wonderful. And it's, a, it's the thing that really drew me to this. So they're brilliant. Leipzig cigars. Just, I don't know if I'm, did I spell it right? It's E L E I, isn't it? Uh, from Steve Mayer's magic.com. Again, I'm not sponsored. No affiliation at all. I just love it when, you know, people are making good stuff. And I, again, I have no idea. They sent me this as, a, as an extra, uh, which is the, the Pop Hayden ice cream. We don't even know the routine. I'm just, and it's, it's great. It, it's it, at this. Uh, it, it's an ice cream, you know. 
I'm looking at there. That is an ice cream. It looks like nothing else but an ice cream, and it's um, it's clearly not. But again, I don't know the routine, but it's it's brilliant. So I thought I'd share that with you. That was quite a good little unboxing, wasn't it? So that's the the ice cream, which I don't know what to do with from Steve Myers Magic, but it looks amazing. And uh, the 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 two cigars. These are again really good value for money. And the Molini eggs. I'm going to be using all of these, and I'm so tempted. I've got my live show in um, a week today. I'm hosting a big awards thing tonight and a live show. I'm hosting the same show that I did the horrible death. If you watch this, watch the last video, which was me sharing my public humiliation. I'm hosting the same night tonight, but I'm not doing any magic tricks. We decided <laughs> we decided to just get out there, read out the nominees and get on with it. But I really want to do this in my show. My show is next week in Sheffield. And if you're anywhere close, do come and see it. stevefalconer.com forward slash graystones. Um, John Archer, Tom Elliott, and now Dave, uh, Dave Annix. Dave, Dave Annix is going to come and, and do a spot as well. So it's a really full night. Dave Annix, Dave Cook, you might know, is producing mentalism stuff. I'm um, going to review something from him soon as well. So let's see if I can see. Um... There we go. Uh, props look great from Leonard. Yeah, they do, don't they? Re I'm so happy with them. And again, they haven't broken the bank, you know. And 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 like, don't get me wrong. I think it's it's fine spending money on props you're going to use, but they were all really. really I think it's something weird today. I bought these as well, which I want to do my billiard ball routine again. Um, and these looked really good. They're they're ball holders. Um, I've never seen them, and and the ball goes. Now the problem is, let me just go and have a look is that um, I wanted to hold a billy I, I wanted to hold a billiard ball in there but that ain't happening um, and I, that, that's not I'm not complaining it might not have said they can hold but these fakinis um, oh I'm rusty blimey um, yeah um, that's the thing about being a magician once you're in front of a screen you can't help it can you these seem okay so, um, I, I, I don't know about whether I've been, they're starting to slip a little bit, but I like, these go under your jacket, and I really, really look, because I've been doing loads of stuff, going to the, um, let me just try that, I wonder if I can still do it, I haven't done this for ages, because I want, ooh, there we go, all right, um, sorry, just playing, but I think they're really good, I think for the billiard ball, you maybe have to put an elastic band around it, or something like that, around here, to pull it in but I think it's, it's not knowing enough people are doing that kind of thing if you're a gig and you've, you've got stuff you know loaded in this direction it's so easy to just silently grab things and produce things um, and it's it's something that I haven't used enough when I do I'm really glad I am so uh, let's have a look at the comments do you have your own egg bag routine uh, I need to bring out my egg bag to start using it again I used I read the original egg bag routine I did was in in Ken Brooks Magic Place, the book that I think is the publication of all his kind of products, instructions and stuff, I learnt it out of there. Uh, and I did that routine for a bit. Now I t talk about this a lot in a name droppy kind of way, but before I was really a magician and more of just a street performer, I was doing magic, but I wasn't doing much. I did this gig where, with Louis de Matos and Johnny Thompson and Leonard Green and Car Mike Caveney, I think Leonard Green might have been on a different one actually, it was, it was Mike Caveney, Stan Allen, and uh, Johnny Thompson and Pam um, and Armando Lucero and I've got an old photo is it up here so oh, it's a great photo of uh, I, I took it like, really bad even before phone cameras you know it was with uh, Mike Cadeney sitting with Armando just while we're doing street shows and stuff but I saw Johnny Thompson do the routine on stage there and his balls in the net routine which I'm also obsessed with at the moment I, I really love that routine and I've just bought, I've been sort of researching it and watched all the different versions of it and you know, I think it's great. I saw him do the egg bag and it made me realise how good it was. And then I saw Louis de Matos do the egg bag in a different show in a couple of years later. Yeah, this, and, he, and then he released a DVD on it, which I think is hilarious. He's just, I mean, can you imagine, <laughs> imagine doing this in Sheffield? His final load that he gives away is a real live baby chicken. I mean, can you imagine, like, I'm doing a show and I go, take that home. What are you going to do with that? But, <laughs> but I thought it was great. But his DVD on the egg bag is brilliant, Louis de Matos. You get a bag with it and you get a routine. So he goes through the routine. Gazelle also has an egg bag routine. 
uh, they're all, and in the Johnny Thompson book as well, they're all very similar. So it's one of those props that once you, it's not like the cups and balls where there's so many different iterations. With the egg bag, there's a main set of moves, which is just kind of, you know, turning of the inside out, putting it in there. You, you kind of do that three times. And once you know them really well, you can, you know, there's this kind of move that I can't remember whose move that is. Gazzo does like this kind of, you know, squeezing the bag, uh, which is an old move. I, I can't remember. Is it, is it a Malini move? Uh, I think it is. I don't know. So my feeling is that what all of those, they're all pretty much of a muchness so if you're going to do the egg bag i think just learn one of them i don't get the magic place book just for that because it's quite and it's a lot of it i couldn't use because you needed to it was like i said it was instructions of stuff but i'll definitely check out the lewis dematos one the gazo one and um and pretty much any any bag egg bag routine uh, thanks so much steve uh, you very much appreciate it. that's really kind david thank you so there you go. I thought I'd share that with you. I will probably do a full review, but that's, I mean, all we need to know really about that stuff. It looks great. It feels great. It's brilliant. Um, I'm, thanks for watching. I didn't think there was going to be anybody here because I did this literally in the moment. I thought, oh, you know, basically because I wanted to open this stuff and I didn't want to open it before. Open it. Because I think it's a nice thing. It's the sort of thing I'd want to watch. So I've got loads of, st oh, loads of stuff to review. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. Come away now. But as I said, no live show tonight, which is the 19th. Um, any questions, comments, or anything, subjects you want me to talk about on the live ones, just email me at steve at onlinemagic.co and do go and check out onlinemagic.co. People have been reviewing it. There is not one negative thing said about it yet. It's hundreds of videos, live sessions. It's, I'm really, really proud of it. Do, after this, go and check it out. Uh, any questions? Do fire away. Take care. See you later. Bye.